Hello and welcome to another video. I came across this image on Pixbay and as soon as I saw it I thought this would make a really good out of the frame or out of bounds style picture. So guess what we're going to be doing in this video? Right, let's make a start. Now the first thing we need to do is to select our two characters. So we're going to come over to the toolbox. Now in with the one tool, we're going to come down to the tool options. We have got the quick selection tool. So I'm going to click on this. Coming over to the next panel, we've got the new selection, which is currently selected. I'm now going to click on add. So use the add to selection. There's the size of the brush. Let's take this up in size to something like this should be pretty good right i've got a hard edge brush and if we come over to this area here new in elements 2020 we have got select a subject and clicking on select subject it's working out where the subjects are and look at this it has done an absolutely superb job really good starting place you can then come in and just clean up the selection that you want but I'm not going to be using it in this video. Instead, I'm going to use Command D or Control D. That's Command D or Control D to remove the selection. Okay, let's zoom in. I'm going to use Spacebar and I'm going to use Command or Control. Doing that, we can zoom into this region here. Right, releasing it. There's the brush. As you can see, it's a 33 pixel brush. It is showing a little plus symbol indicating we have got the Add to Selection, which is what we selected right it's just coming around this area now i'm not going to do the two characters i'm not even going to do all of them instead i will be uh, i'm just going to show you how we can make a quick selection with this so just coming around that area there and just using the space bar to move my way around into this region Right, I want to remove this area, so I'm going to use the left hand square bracket taking me down. Now I'm going to press Alt or Option, we've got the minus symbol, just going to go over and there it is, that has now selected it. Right, coming up, let's use the right hand square bracket, making it a little bit bigger, just pulling it out over the area of his crash helmet, and just using the space bar, and just moving my way areas like this just click down don't be tempted to brush over it just click down once like this and it tends to do a better job right coming down once again just clicking down pulling it out clicking down again and moving it around like this click in there and there we go and just a little click there will do nicely okay coming down and just clicking in the selection there just to tighten it up around his t-shirt right coming down to his arm over his elbow guard pad thing whatever it happens to be called and yeah, it's done a, a pretty good job here so far i'm going to drop the size of the brush down just moving it out so we can see it i'm going to use the left hand square bracket to take it down in size going to come over his hand i knew that was going to happen it tends to shoot out at this stage smaller brush tends to do a better selection as you can see, using the alter option to bring up that minus, just so we can pull this into our selection like this. So just waiting for it to pop into place. There it is. I'm just coming over this region here. Now I think this is why we say memo to self. Next time, pick an easier subject over his thumb and over his hand. And I think it's this stage, just using alter option again. There, that will do. Right, I'm going to use command zero or control zero to go to fit on screen, because rather than having you sit in there while I go over the whole thing, let's come up to select. We're gonna come down to load selection. And with this, let's go to skateboarding. And I'm gonna click on okay. And this is one I prepared earlier, <laughs> right? Okay, for the next stage, what we're now going to do is we are going to click on Refine Edge. We have got several different views. So let's start off with Marching Ants. Let's zoom in using Spacebar, Command or Control into this region here will do nicely. Now, let's come over to this character here because he hasn't had much of a say so far. Just zooming out a little bit, went in a bit too tight. There it is with Marching Ants. And if I just click, we've also got Overlay, which gives a pretty good view of it. So let's zoom in like this. 
Right, I'm now going to use this brush here. Now this brush is the Refine Radius tool. And I'm just going to come around this region like that. Just waiting for it to pop in. Gonna press Alt or Option. Pressing Alt or Option is the same as selecting the Eraser brush. And I'm just going to, or the Erase Refinement tool, I think I was being corrected there. That's done an amazing job with this. Just over this region, just click dragging it, coming over the camera, over his hand, like that, waiting for it to drop into place. And you can see it just went a little bit thin there. When I say thin, you could see the uh, hand and the lens disappear. Just coming around this area. That has done a pretty good job. Let's come up here as well, just pulling these into our selection and just tightening up this area here. Right, looking around the rest of it, looks pretty good so far. Coming around here as well, it's over the edge. I'm just gonna increase the size of the brush. I'm gonna use the right-hand square bracket to do that. I'm gonna bring the brush so it's just a little bit over and I'm just gonna run it down. And you can see that pink area like this. We can change the view. Let's go to black. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. Right, so I'm going to use the alter option. So we've now got the minus symbol. I'm just going to come over this. Let's paint over that. See how this works using the eraser refine edge. Like this. And there, that's done a better job. Uh, deliberately took it up to just his shorts. A bit of an idea for this that I'll explain just a little bit later. Coming around that area. Okay, right doesn't want to play games so coming down that's better now I've got the selection that was the first thing for making our selection we've now got this one which is the second part in the next part we have got masking so with all of these we can just enhance the selection that's made just coming around it that looks pretty good another one of my favorite views is to come with this one on layer now look at it on layer where you've got these areas here you can see it's looking just a little bit thin you can see that checkable background showing through it's worth just clicking down just seeing if you can just pull it out like that there that looks better it's just thickened it up a little bit remove that checkable background once again, sometimes just clicking does a much better job than just bringing or painting it over like this. And there we are. So you can see the way you can do that. Right, moving around, just pressing the space bar. And there it is. Now at this stage, I'm going to speed the video up because I'm now going to come over to our next character. I'm going to go around him rather than having you sitting there as I go through the whole process again, as I say, I'm going to speed the video up and I'll come back to you in just a few seconds. Zooming out, I'm going to use spacebar, now alt or option, clicking down. You may have noticed I've had a stubborn area here. I'll come back to that uh, when we get to the next stage. Something else I like to do is come down to output, decontaminate colors, and I'm going to leave it at the default amount. This just helps if you've got subject matter where you've got the colors and they tend to be blending in just a little bit too closely, it can really help with that. So I always use decontaminate colors 50% you might like to try it on a black background or on the uh, the overlay there and you can see exactly how it's looking to just fine-tune that we're now going to come down to our output and I'm going to select new layer with mask clicking on OK and in a few seconds we are back in Photoshop elements and let's zoom in spacebar and command or control we'll do that into this region here let's have a very quick look at this character and wow terrific isn't it it's done a fantastic job if you just switch the background layer off it may give you some indication of there that's just a little bit thin blue line is around the thumbnail image click make sure the blue line is around the mask coming over to the toolbox picking up the paintbrush tool 
white is the foreground color which is ideal for this and coming down i got a 30 pixel brush which might be a, just a little bit big so i'm going to use the left hand square bracket just to drop it down a touch got a hard edge brush as well and i'm just going to come over this region here and you can see how you can just just clicking down a few times just pulls that in right looking around the rest of the image you can see some areas here that just need tidying up. I'm going to press X on the keyboard. Now black is the foreground color. And with black as that foreground color, I can just come over and just do this region here, pressing X. So white is now the foreground. And it's just this region here. This is going to be inside our frame so it doesn't know well, this part of the region here i think looking at it for the idea i had so it doesn't need to be too accurate coming over to this region i noticed the crash helmet was a little bit thin as well i have got white so i'm just going to quickly come around this region you'll notice that checkerboard background as we're filling this in like that so using the mask as I said first of all we use the quick selection tool we then use the refine edge we are now using the mask so you do have quite a few different options this is going to be definitely inside the framework but I've got an idea so I just wanted to make sure I had that in our selection looking around the rest of it that has done a pretty good job so I'm going to leave it like this. Let's zoom out using command or control and zero out we pop. Let's switch on our background layer. In fact, we're going to click on our background layer. Okay, for the next stage, I'm going to come over to the toolbox. I'm going to pick up the rectangular marquee tool, which is in with the marquee tools. There it is. If you've got the elliptical, just click on this one. Right, let's fold this down out of the way. I'm going to zoom in to fit on screen. Bringing my cursor in, clicking down, dragging out to this sort of region. We're going to head up to select, coming down to transform selection. That has put the transform tool with all of its grab handles around our selection. Great, because now we can move things around and we can change things. I'm going to right click with my cursor inside that framework, right clicking, coming down to perspective. When I come to the corners now, clicking on this, the two corners are going to come in equally if I bring it inward going to take it to this sort of region here coming to the bottom going to pull this out right right clicking again free transform going to come to the top I'm going to drop it down like this I'm going to come to the bottom and I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to just twizzle it around a little bit like that and then pull it to this sort of region something like that could look pretty good just dropping it down a little bit more perhaps pulling it out a wee bit or should I say let's move it out like that just to get it away from the edge that will do nicely bringing it in just so we got the shadow from this skater here love the interaction we got this guy looking up at this one that skateboard coming in so giving us that nice triangular shape double clicking has now applied our selection command j or control j that's command j control j we have now got our selection on a new layer switching it off there it is there's our out of the frame but a few more things we need to do first of all make sure you have got the default colors any other colors d on the keyboard to restore those default colors next hold down command or control so hold down command or control we're now going to come up to the create new layer icon clicking on this and because you held down command or control that new layer was placed underneath layer one if you didn't hold down command or control it would go on top come into layer one press and hold down command or control again notice the way your cursor changes as you come over the thumbnail click down we have now got a selection but our live layer is layer two we're going to fill this with white which is our background color Press and hold down command or control. So press, hold down command or control. Now on a Mac, press delete. On a PC, press backspace. And you have just filled layer two with white. We're now going to use command D or control D. That's command D or control D. That has removed our selection, which of course is select, deselect. Coming back up to image, 
transform free transform command T or control T let's come down to our two options and you'll notice it's constrained proportions we've got 100% for the height 100% for the width which I am working on just selecting it I'm going to put in I think four might work with this image for there it is that's a good starting place you can see it's just pulled it out for us let's fold this down out of the way going to switch the no I can't do anything just yet <laughs> double click in now I'm going to switch on the background layer just gives us a better view and I'm going to use command T or control T which as we saw was the shortcut for the transform tool just pulling this in a touch or two just pulling this side in a touch or two and just pulling the bottom out a little bit like this and the top pulling that in so just whoops not as much as that there that will do nicely double click to apply how about a drop shadow coming down to styles with styles navigate your way to the drop down menu for drop shadows and we're going to click on this one which is high right coming down to layer double clicking on fx and we've now got our move tool we can move this around looking at the shadows they're coming from this direction here ignore this one because he's in a bit of a curved area and I'm just going to pull it out like this. In fact, I'm going to take the size up a touch. That's just going to soften things off. Perhaps just bringing it in a bit, little bit there and dropping it down. Click OK to that. To give it a little bit more definition from the background, I'm going to click on our background layer, up to an adjustment layer, down to hue saturation. Click it on colorize. Now with colorize, one of my favorites, if I just bring this in, if I come to around about the high 30s, something like that. Bring the saturation down there. I like that tone. Does it work with this image? No, I think this one needs to be a cyanotype. So coming into the blues, there looks pretty good. You can make it lighter in the background. In fact, you can take it to white if you really want to, or even take it to black. You can put in your own background, whatever you want to do for your image. I'm gonna bring it to this sort of region here. To make, no, make it a little bit lighter there. Now, another idea I've got, he says, closing this down. And the reason why we made a selection to the bottom of his shorts and down around his arm is a drop shadow for our two characters. So we're going to head up to the top layer. Make sure that blue line is around the layer mask. Press and hold down command or control. You've now got that little square again. Clicking down, there is our selection. Once again, holding down command or control clicking on this icon here for create new layer that new layer has gone underneath our top layer here we're going to fill this with the foreground color which is black so press and hold down alt or option are you holding down alt or option good because now you can press delete or backspace that's delete on a mac it is backspace on a pc and you have filled this with black command d control d to deselect Right, to make it look a bit more like a drop shadow, filter, blur, Gaussian blur is where we're going to soften off our edges. And if I just click here, you can see, move it down, you can see there it is on his leg. I have got 13.9. Looking at the image, let's uh, zoom in to this region here. That actually, if I just switch our preview off and on, you can see the way that's working. That looks pretty good like that, so I'm going to click on OK. Pressing V on the keyboard. There's the move tool. We can now move our drop shadow around and you can see there it is. And you can see the way it gives these shorts a little bit of a 3D effect, <laughs> right? Let's move it into this region. Let's press the space bar, take a look at the top so we can now see the entire image. Just moving it around. Don't forget, we know the direction of the light and you can see that shadow coming in. And if I just switch this off and on, and there it is, using Command-0, zero, Control-0 zero to, uh, to fit on screen. There is our finished image. Put it aside, save it as a PSD, as a Photoshop file. Leave it then, you can make any further adjustments to it. You can tidy things up with that mask a little bit more. You can adjust the shadows, you can adjust the background. Just give it a try. Any comments, questions, please leave them below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have, and don't forget to subscribe as there's plenty more videos to come. But until the next time, it is happy imaging, and take care.